Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about the background options and how to navigate through the different frames or slides within Google Jamboard on a mobile device. So if you are looking at your Google Jam, um, you'll notice at the top in the center, you do have what looks like a page stacked on another page. Um, and if you click on it, it's going to open up your different what's called frames, or we might think of them as more of slides. And from there, I can click the plus button on either side, and that is going to create new frames for me. I can also click into one of them, um, and it's going to change which frame I'm in. From there, what I can do is click the three vertical dots on each individual slide, and that gives me the option to either duplicate a slide, so we'll see what that looks like. Um, I can click it again and delete a slide, or again, frame is what they're truly called, or I can add a background. Now, they give you a couple different background options, including um, the one you start with, which is blank or it says none. Um, you also have a dot option, a grid option, a lined, um, almost look like lined piece of paper option, a, oops, go back, a gray grid option, blue option, and a black option. Um, and then so once you pick one, you can decide to use that button there at the bottom to apply it to all your uh, frames. So if I go to the second frame, you'll notice there it is again. Uh, if I open up a new one, though, it is going to be blank um, because it is newer from that direction that you gave it earlier on. So then I just click the up arrow to get rid of those and I'm on my frames. I can also use the two arrows in the top middle to navigate between my frames as well. Um, and then um, if I get to the end, um, I can also click it again and that will actually create more frames for me. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to change the background of a frame and navigate through the different frames in Google Jamboard.